Okay, yeah, welcome back. Good. Welcome back again. We are, we are here again. Here is another section. This section we want to demonstrate on how to produce germicidal disinfectant. Germicidal disinfectant, which is used to destroy broad spectrums of bacteria, germs in the toilet and the bedroom. Now, unlike the antiseptic that is used for body, this one is used majorly in the toilet and the bedroom. So here we have uh, varieties of chemicals. Here we call this Isa Booster. This Isa Booster, that is the name. The name they know is the market. This is concentrates. Concentrates. We have whitener. We have phenol. We have uh, Lysol. Then we have Texapon. So how do we produce a germicidal disinfectant? Very simple and fast. Now, we also have a measuring scale, which is a spoon in this case. You can use other measuring scales, like the one they used to, you know, measuring liter and other things to measure your quantity of chemicals you want to use. Now, the first thing for us to do is to measure everything is in the same ratio. One over four, one over four, one over four, except that of the whitener. Because the whitener in this case serves as the colorant to ensure that the the uh, the the dark color becomes a little bit whitish from the name whitener. So how do we do it? Let's start. The first thing for us to take is our phenol. We take one over four quantity of the phenol. Like I said, this spoon represents one over four. So this is it. One over four. I measure it here. So after measuring out the one over four quantity of the phenol, the next thing for us is to do is to measure out one over four quantity of the texapon. Like if you are following through what I've been producing, we've used the texapon in liquid soap. We also use the texapon in the production of our liquid antiseptic. So texapon is a multi-purpose ingredient. So here we have it. We take um. 1 over 4, which is just a spoonful. In this case, we have it here. After that, we use our stirrer. We use our stirrer to stir properly, continuously. We stir in one direction, likewise. We stir well, you can see. I'm ensuring that the text up on here and the phenol are well mixed. After mixing it, the next thing for us to take is to take our Lysol. Here is our Lysol. We take our Lysol, one over four likewise. We pour into it, then we stir likewise. On each addition of any ingredient, we stir it together. So after stirring it together, we take our concentrates. Concentrate likewise, one over four quantity of the concentrates. We take one over four quantity of the concentrates, we pour we stir continually in one direction. You can see that I'm stirring it well. So after that, we take the Isar booster. The Isar booster. One over four, likewise. You take it. We we'll pour. So after pouring it into the bowl, we stir in one direction, likewise. See, I'm staring it in one direction. Can you see some changes? That in this case uh, is becoming thicker, sort of thicker. Then after that, we take our whitener. It's only in the case of whitener, you add one over two. And one over two here will be four spoon. One over two will be two spoon for rather. One over two of our whitener is two spoonful. Like I said before, the whitener here is just like the colorant in liquid soap and in our bath soap. But in, in the production of our germicidal disinfectant, we use whitener. You see it's white in color. We have two spoon to us to ensure that the dark color will become more appreciable to the consumers. The people that will use it to wash the toilets and the bedroom. So here we stir it continually in one 
direction so that it's giving us a more appreciable look or like the earlier look so now the color is well mixed and it's, it's giving us sort of chocolate color so this is the concentrate of uh jam disinfectant we are having because the phenolic content the phenolic ratio and the ratio of each of the ingredients must be in an appropriate amount so as to ensure that no gems in the toilet will be spared when used because if you overshoot the ratio when you are diluting it with water the gems there might not be affected so whenever you're having a concentrate like this you dilute it to three parts you dilute water three times its volume it means that this quantity now if i want to dilute it i will dilute it to three quantity of water its volume to ensure that the phenolic ratio and the other ratios of the germ germicides will be able to destroy any broad spectrum of gems like the shigella and many toilet gems so we are going to add up water to volume to ensure that we have the real liquefied because this one is a kind of in an emulsion form so i want to add the water now So we count this is one part of water we we'll stir and you see now it's bubbling because of the texapon it's bubbling because of the texapon so this jamsilla disinfectant this two part of water as it is destroying the gems in the bedroom and toilet it also washes the toilet and it is because of the texapon that was applied that has that has given this germicidal disinfectant this property. The third time water, like I said, the concentrates must not have, the concentrates must be able to contain or retain three times its volume of water. So we say continually, our product is ready for use. You can see, it's fine and the color is appreciable and the odor is that of jamsidal disinfectants. Thank you.